MLB launched its investigation into allegations around the Dodgers star Shohei Otani and his interpreter. Here's what we know. CNN Major League Baseball announced it has launched an investigation into allegations surrounding Los Angeles Dodgers two-way star Shohei Otani and his longtime interpreter Ipe Muju Mizuhara on Friday. Major League Baseball has been gathering inf information since we learned about the allegations involving Shohei Otani and Ipe Mizuhari from the news media. The league said in a news release earlier today, our Department of Investigations called the DOI began their former process investigating the matter. The longtime interpreter for Japanese baseball superstar Shohei Otani was fired Wednesday after the players' lawyers accused him of massive theft of millions of dollars and placing bet with the bookmaker under federal investigation. <clears throat> According to ESPN and the Los Angeles Times, which first reported the story, <clears throat> the attorneys have not detailed how they believe the funds were stolen, prompting a swirl of questions as Otani made him much anticipated death debut with the Los Angeles Dodgers. <clears throat> the scandal emerged as Otani played his first game with the Dodgers at their MLB season opener in Seoul, South Korea, Wednesday, where the team secured a 5-2 victory over the San Diego De Padres. <clears throat> the Dodgers confirmed Mizuhara's firing and said they were aware of the media report and are gathering information. The team added it had no further comment. As news of Mizuhara's firing and the alleged actions unfolded, both the interpreter and the Otani's representatives have shifted their statement given to ESPN reporters, first saying the star player was aware of his translator's gambling debt and later that he had no knowledge or involvement. Here is what we know. <clears throat> IRS investigating Mizahara. The Internal Revenue Service is investigating Mizahara, a spokesman told the CNN. The IRS Criminal Investigation Los Angeles Field Office is involved in the investigation involving Matthew Bauer and Ipe Mizahara, but I cannot provide any additional detail at this time, IRS spokesman Scott Billard said in an email. Mizahara <coughs> acted as Otani's interpreter before he was fired by the team and Boyer is the California resident who bankruptcy court document showed uh, had gambling debt of $425,000 more than a decade ago. Diane Boss, an uh, attorney for Boyer, told CNN her client never had any contact with Mr. Otani. $4.5 million transferred from Otani's account to ESPN report. ESPN's Tisha Thompson, citing unnamed sources, said on CNN's The Lead Wednesday at least $4.5 million was withdrawn via wire transfer from Otani's bank account, though it was unclear who initiated the transfers. Thompson also reported to sources told her Mizara's sports betting date back as early as 2021 when Otani was playing for the Los Angeles Angels. When reached for comment, the Angels referred all questions to the Dodgers and the Shoei's representatives. Otani played his last game with the Angels last year before signing a record-breaking 10-year $700 million contract with the Dodgers. A big 108 in the story, reporter says. Before news of Mizara's alleged actions broke, Thompson said the interpreter and Otani's representatives did a big 180 in what they were telling her. 
At first, a Taiwanese spokesperson told the ESPN the player had transferred the money to help pay off Mizara's gambling debt. The outlet reported, a Taiwanese representative then arranged for Thompson to interview Mizara on Tuesday, according to ESPN. During the interview, the interpreter said Otani had no involvement in his betting, and Mizara asked the player last year to pay off his gambling debt. ESPN reported. The translator said Otani was unhappy, unhappy with the situation, but agreed to pay the debt. But after the interview, the, as ESPN prepared to publish its its story Wednesday, Otani spoke person disavowed Mizara's account, and soon after released a statement saying Otani had been victim of theft. In the course of responding to recent media inquiries, we discovered that Sho Shohei has been the victim of the massive thief, and we are turning the matter over to the authorities. So, Tani's law firm, Burke Blatter, Blatter, Blatner, LLP said. Thompson said Mizara admitted the lie about Otani being aware of his death. He worked back much of his initial story, saying instead that Otani had no knowledge about uh, of the interpreter's death and had had made no payment. ESPN reported the CNN has sought to comment from Otani's agent and further comment from the. Dodgers, M uh, MLB had no comment to CNN on the issue as of Thursday morning. CNN has also sought comment from Mizara. Long-standing translator relationship at the Dodgers game in Seoul Wednesday, Mizara translated for Otani and was seen smiling in the team's dugout and chatting with the player. The pair had had the lasting professional relationship. They first worked together from 2013 to 2017 when Mizara served as the translator for the Nippon Ham Fighters. Otani is. Otani's team with Japan's Nippon Professional Baseball League, according to MLB.com. When Otani joined the Los Angeles Angels in 2018, he asked Mizara to join him as his translator in the rookie season, and Mizara eventually followed the star to the Dodgers. After the Dodgers game in Seoul Wednesday, Mizara apologized to the team, according to ESPN, citing a named Dodgers official. I've been told that Mizara says something to the effect of, I'm sorry, I apologize. I have the gambling problem, Thompson said on ESPN. Uh, Base was in famous gambling history. During the 1990 World Series, the heavily favored Chicago White Sox were stunned 5-3 in a bit of nine series by the Cincinnati Reds. However, a year later, eight White House players were accused of conspiring with gamblers to lose the fall classic on purpose. They were all acquitted in a 1921 trial but were banned for life from professional baseball by then Commissioner Kennesaw uh, Mountain Landis. Another involved the MLB's all-time hit leader, Pepe Luz Rose, who received a lifetime ban from the sport in 1989 for betting a Cincinnati Reds game while he was a player manager for the team. Rose, whose ban makes him in eligible for election to baseball's Hall of Fame, admitted in his 2004 autobiography he bet on baseball. While Reds manager and three years later told the CNN ESPN radio he bet on the Reds to win every night. In 2023, Americans gambled a record the 190.84 billion dollars on sports, a 27.5 percent increase from the previous year, according to the American Gambling Association's commissioner. A commercial game gaming revenue tracker. CNS David Close 
Jill Martin and Nick Watt contribute to, to this report.